Hi, I'm Omar. And I'm Mia. And this is Hey! That's on Netflix, InstaWatch, where each week we tell you five things to watch on Netflix and to watch based on a viewer profile. Now, we all have a special place in our hearts for the movies that we watch as a kid, but there are definitely those kids' movies that you look back on and you're like, really? That was for kids? Which has inspired this week's viewer profile, Retrospectively Traumatized Kids Movie Watcher. How do you know if you're a retrospectively traumatized kids movie watcher? Seemingly innocent things elicit a strong emotional response. Look who I found under the bed. No, 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 no. You're so traumatized that you don't even quite remember the plot of the movie. Hey, what's that movie where the dinosaurs like attack little kids? Uh, Jurassic Park. No, we're back. And you have severe emotional problems. What are you drawing? A badger. Oh. Is this a uh, poison gas with the lines are? It's good. So, here's our list. Number five is Labyrinth. This movie has a glammed owl, David Bowie, dancing with Jennifer Connelly, surrounded by Muppets. So really, I guess it could be worse. Now, this movie earns some extra mature points because David Bowie's leotard is just a little too tight. Number four is Time Bandits. This is from Terry Gilliam, who's also brought us such movies as Brazil and The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, and he doesn't really do anything to tone it down for Time Bandits. There's a lot of weird, freaky things that happen in Time Bandits, historical references, scary imagery, but the really messed up thing is that it has a very harsh way of teaching parents to listen to their kids at the end, involving a microwave. Number three is All Dogs Go to Heaven. On the plus side, this movie is about cartoon dogs. On the minus side, they're dead. Now this movie might have some great musical moments, but all I can remember from watching it is the scene where the dogs go to the fireplace down in the... with the cats. Now we wanted to recommend Black Stallion on this list, but no one in the right mind would recommend Black Stallion to anyone. It's a beautiful movie, but I'm not sure what kind of mood you'd have to be in to rewatch Black Stallion. Plus, it's not so much messed up as it is just really emotional and depressing. Yeah, and that's just the title sequence. Number two is The Secret of Nim. This is based on the books of Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim that were oddly required reading for me and maybe for you. There's so many mature things about this movie that I don't even know where to start. We've got a single mom trying to protect her family. Her husband's dead. He's part of a secret society. Genetically modified rats. Power struggles in the council. Some Game of Thrones going on. And number one is Dark Crystal. Now this movie has just about every freaky thing that a kid could imagine. There's blood drinking. There's the Skeksis. Creepy old people. Scary noses. People without noses. Like them dying and crumbling into rocks that comes out of nowhere. Even though this movie is extremely frightening, it's one of the best ones to revisit as an adult because it is extremely imaginative. So, there's our list. What are those movies that you remember from when you were a kid that had like some really mature moments or some scary moments? Leave your answers in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button at the bottom. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. You can also check us out on Twitter at 2 Geeks and visit our blog. And if you happen to watch all five of these movies when you were a kid, don't worry. I mean, they're not really that bad. I mean, we watched all of them and we turned out totally fine. Oh, sorry. Just my alarm. That's so funny. My alarm's from Lion King too. Dad? Dad, come on. You gotta get up. Am I right? Dad. We gotta go home. Alright guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.